So it's personal between you and God, and it's individualized. You're not living in the image of some person that was created here on earth. You're living in the image of God, pursuing God, and you're not conforming. From New Life Ministries, this is Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn. I'm Stephen Arterburn. And going deeper is all about taking the tough issues, the hard issues of life, looking a little bit deeper inside so that we can gain some insight into our lives. Hi there. Another session of Going Deeper. Thanks for joining me. Steve Arterburn here. We are, this is the third from the last program on toxic faith. And we're always uh, excited to be with you every day, present some new information. But today, it's really important because we're talking about healthy faith. We're talking about the church that has it together, a place that you'd want to go and be part of. One of the characteristics of a church that is a godly church, not a toxic church, is this word trusting. There's a lot of trust going on in a healthy church. Not a lot of demands, not a lot of control, pressure. There's this trust in God, that God is at the center. There's a, a trust in each other because People are living right. Uh, they're not just uh, cruel, mean, uh, bad motives, not loving well. We can trust others because, well, they, they have a history of being trustworthy. And we have to ask ourselves a question. If it's hard for me to trust God, if it's hard for me to trust others, is there something in my past that might trigger me into suspicion or distance or protection? Because maybe somebody that I trusted earlier in life, they proved to be untrustworthy. And I'm living that out in my relationship with my other church folks and my relationship with God. When you go to a healthy church, it feels like it's a place you could trust the folks that go there and trust more and more of your life to God. The uh, second thing is that it's, it's personal that they teach a personal faith. It isn't about rules, rituals, regulation. This is me and God. I read God's Word. The Holy Spirit is helping me to interpret this, and I'm using this truth as I connect with the mind of the truth creator, the one who is in charge of and developed all this truth. And so it's personal between me and God. It's not group worship without the personal relationship. It's not group control, group psychology. It's individualized and personal. And that leads me to that third point of being individualized. When you go to a sick church, you're, you're asked to conform with everybody. You're asked to look like them, talk like them. It's just, it's just all about conformity. And they equate conformity with Christianity. Whereas I'm an individual and I'm not like a lot of other people or anybody. And so I want a faith that's healthy that is telling folks that, hey, it's okay to be you. You know, when I started speaking and uh, doing some lectures, one of the things I loved the most was sense of humor. But I didn't use that humor because I didn't think that was the right thing to do. But then I discovered it was okay to use humor because that's who I was. I just wanted to be me. So it's personal between you and God. And it's individualized. You're not living in the image of some person that was created here on earth. You're living in the image of God, pursuing God. And you're not conforming. And then finally, it's relational or relationship oriented. There are redemptive relationships in the healthy church. You hear about the pastor's wife or the pastor's husband or whatever. And you talk with them and you go, wow, what a great person. Not what a loser what an angry person, what a distant, disrespectful person. It, there's relationship there. And there's relationship with the pastor. You know, a lot of people that speak from the stage, they're not great one-on-one, -on -one, but there's a desire of that pastor to know you better in relationship. So uh, when we have redemptive relationships, where relationships are healing, transforming, and healthy, well, good chance we're sitting right there in a healthy church. I want to be in a healthy church. I want intimacy with God, intimacy with other people, not burdened, control, laden with responsibility I don't have time to live up to. I want to be in a healthy church. So, if you need some help with finding a church, you could call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. 
there are some really uh, good churches. There's some great churches. But there are also some that they've missed it, either a little or a lot. We don't want you going there. We want you to be in a healthy, wonderful place where you worship God and connect with all the other people. Well, that's it for today. When we see you next time, we'll be, well, be the second from the end of our Toxic Faith series, talking about the healthy aspects of faith now that we've covered the really sick ones in Toxic Faith. See you then. Thank you for joining me for Going Deeper. I hope something I've said may have helped just a little bit. If you have a question you'd like me to answer or comment, just email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. I'll see you next time. If you want to support Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you know someone who would benefit from this episode, be sure to share it with them. See you on the next Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn from New Life Ministries.